we're trying to take all of the content that you have on your different devices, your phones, your MP3 players, computers in the workplace and at home uh, and bring them all together. So your phone now has become the centre of your digital life. These are the two devices that we launched at CES, which is the Consumer Electronics Roadshow that's held annually in Las Vegas. We took away a heap of awards, best of show and best tablet for the Zoom, which is our 10.1 inch Android tablet, and best smartphone for the Atrix. So you'll see the specs there for the Atrix read much like you've seen in computers. It has a dual core 1 gigahertz processor with a gig of RAM on board. It also has 16 gig internal memory, which is expandable to another 32 via micro SD card. It also has a 1930 milliamp battery, which for a phone is quite huge, uh, about 20% bigger than the average uh, mobile phone battery, including other dual core devices. Uh, it also has a four inch quarter HD display, which basically is quite dynamic. There's a whole lot more pixels than you'd see on your average phone. Uh, and more importantly, it's uh, blue tick certified by Telstra. So Telstra has a rigorous 16 week uh, certification process for their phones. They grade devices uh, based on their capability for reception. Uh, and a blue tick device means that they guarantee it to receive the best reception in regional areas. So out of the box, basically you have everything that you'd expect from a, a mobile phone, your access to your calendar and contacts, your corporate directory, uh, and the ability to sync up all of your email. You've also got access to exchange-based enterprise solutions like uh, Exchange Active Sync, uh, different kind of applications that give your IT department uh, the ability to control what the device does or what applications uh, your fleet has access to. Uh, and with your email, you can have multiple email accounts syncing through to one inbox, uh, just making everything a little bit more streamlined. In security, there's layers of password protection. Uh, with our cloud-based solution, Moto Blur, you also have the ability to uh, remote wipe your, your phone memory and the, the contents of your SD card, if you so choose. There is also uh, layers of data encryption that can be added. In regards to device management, like I said before, you've got access to EAS, also your McAfee uh, mobility management. It's also largely about uh, device health there, so you are able to install uh, your AVG McAfee type uh, antivirus. Uh, most importantly though is MotoDev. So this is um, basically our development platform that allows you to create uh, apps specific to your business. Another major security point we have with the Atrix is a biometric fingerprint scanner on the back. So on top of obviously your normal password protection, you can have it so that it unlocks only for your, your fingerprint. You do add a password as well in case you cut your finger or you want somebody else to get into it. You do have the ability to connect up to five devices to the Atrix uh, as a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, so whether somebody's you know, not, not brought their USB dongle, that kind of thing, you've got that capability and access to Microsoft Office support, so you can sync it uh, with something like your Microsoft 365 solutions. So with uh, added layers of software, we've created an ecosystem around, around the Atrix um, utilising all of these docs that we'll show you in a moment. So the first one is our standard dock. It charges the device and through Whisper technology um, puts it straight into this clock mode. So you can have that by the bed. There's a dimmer as well. You can set up your alarm clock and have easy access to something like weather widgets. Everything you'd need uh, close at hand you know, when you wake up to get the day going. The next one is our car dock. So again, with that Whisper technology, as soon as you dock the device, it goes into this mode, giving you quick access to six easy navigation buttons, music, location, navigation, that kind of thing. You can set up shortcuts for uh, commonly called phone numbers, this kind of thing. It also comes with, uh, obviously, a charging cable and a splitter, so you can charge another device via USB through that same charging point. This is one of the bigger layers, I guess, of software that we're running on the Atrix. It's called WebTop. Basically, what WebTop does is between two of our different docks, the HD dock and the laptop, basically uh, it enhances everything you'd normally do on your mobile device in more of a, a PC kind of environment. So you have access to a full Firefox browser, and being that the phone is flash enabled, you do that's 40% of the web that you do have access to where you wouldn't with uh, competitive devices. 
you can also use the Firefox browser to access something like your Office 365 or Citrix. So basically what it is is a screen, a keyboard and some batteries into which the phone is plugged. The dock itself does nothing alone. It all runs off the power of that dual core in the phone. You can open presentations, do email, everything that you normally do on your phone just in that PC environment. You've also got the HD dock. So again, this connects you to your web top environment. You can plug in a Bluetooth uh, mouse and keyboard or there's three USB ports in the back. You can just use wireless ones and essentially use any screen as a PC screen. And this is your HD dock again. So plugged in via HDMI to uh, an HD TV, you can use this to run through any media on your device, any movies, music, pictures or presentations. So you can essentially walk into a presentation with this, a couple of cables and your phone and uh, be presenting like this. So that's basically the, the uh, ecosystem that we've built around Atrix. It is quite unique um, to, to us. It's the first time we've done something like this, but it is the first time that anyone's really put out accessories like this around a, a mobile device. So that's Atrix. I'll move on to Zoom. So Zoom is our 10.1 inch Android tablet. It was launched with 3.0 Android software. We call it the next generation tablet because upon its release, it was the first tablet to be running Honeycomb software. Honeycomb is tablet specific software. So tablets that we've seen in the past have been running uh, in large versions of phone software or similar, where it's not really optimized to be seen on the biggest screen. You don't get a proper, like a, a good experience from the devices. So you have quite a high resolution display and uh, multitasking capability in that in a dual core processor as well. And this is the one that, that uh, won best in show at the CES awards. Your browsing on this you'll find is much like it is on your PC. You've got access to Flash, the latest version, also tabbed browsing. So if you use something like Chrome, it will sync with that. So anything that you've got, any bookmarks, that kind of thing that you have on your desktop PC will be available on the tablet and any changes you make will sync back. You also have incognito browsing. So what this offers is uh, security with your browsing. You open a tab, you type in your, your banking or, or similar, something quite sensitive. As soon as you close down that tab, uh, everything's gone from the device. There's no uh, history or footprint from having been there and there's nothing cached, no passwords, anything like that. So it is, does add a little bit of uh, peace of mind. Um, you do have access to things like all of your email clients, uh, also immediate access to navigation and all of your music and talk, so uh, all of your messaging clients. You have a two megapixel front facing camera on the Zoom. Uh, this allows for video chatting, that kind of thing. Uh, you'll find with Polycom, they're offering sort of you know, up to 10 to 20 people on a, a video type huddle and you can do this with this device. And you're able to do it not only over Wi-Fi, but obviously with 3G. So you've got 32 gig onboard storage with the Zoom, but expandable again to another 32. And you can hot swap these micro SD cards. Uh, because of the inherent file manager as well, you can swap, uh, sorry, copy and paste files between the, the memory card and the, the internal memory. So you've got micro HDMI output as well. So you can plug it into a TV and you know, play movies straight from it into the TV or PowerPoint presentations again. You can be standing there presenting using your Zoom rather than this kind of setup. Multitasking on this is, is quite uh, impressive. So you've got, like with the Atrix, a dual core one gigahertz processor. When it was first launched with 3.0 software, we offered a five window sort of catalog of running apps. You now have access to 15. This you know, doesn't slow down the, the, the device because of that dual core, but it, it is pure multitasking. So out of the box again, you've got access to all of the things that you need, your, your email, your contacts, your calendar. With the 3.2 upgrade that will be pushing across the air soon, you, also have, you will have access to MotoPrint, which is an application which will allow you to print to any wireless uh, printer within range uh, from anywhere in the device without having to you know, copy, paste, hold it there and send it on. In regards to business use, you've got flash support, which is obviously quite, a, quite an important one, but your device encryption, so we do offer one touch encryption on the Zoom, which is 128 bit and adds obviously layers of security and passwords. Dual Bluetooth support, so you can use uh, both a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse at the same time with the device. And you've, obviously, you've got access to thousands of business applications on the Android marketplace. This is the ecosystem that we have created around the Zoom. 
So you've got things like your speaker dock here, which has HDMI output as well, and you could leave uh, plugged into an HD screen. Also, the folio on the go case, which is basically a just a tougher case for the device. The device is quite sturdily built and has a Gorilla Glass display, which means that it is, is more sturdy than your most of the tabs on the market, but uh, a little bit of protection goes a long way. And with the Android market, there are now over 200,000 applications available on the Android market, and there are a huge amount that are quite business-centric. Anything that you see there is available for download, and you can uh, utilise things like your antiviruses, your ABG, your McAfee, that kind of thing, um, and access to any of the, the cloud-based solutions like your 365. Oh, yeah.